Now that we've talked about labels, we'll get into text fields. So text fields displays editable text as described here in the object library. So let me find text fields. Here it is. A text field displays editable text. It's similar to labels in a way that it can display text. It can, or it has the added functionality of allowing users to enter, change, delete text inside it. If you need to show static text that should never be changed by the user, use labels. If you need to show text that is editable by the user, use text fields. So I'm going to drag out a text field right now, and I'm going to put it right below my label. There are a bunch of properties uh, you can change for a text field in Attribute Inspector. So you, you can you can enter placeholder, you can change the alignment, color, the text, the background color, and so on. Uh, we are going to change the, the word wrap. So I'm going to change this to word wrap for the line break. So let me make the text field a little larger. So now I'm going to run the app right now. And then once it starts running, I'm going to enter some text into it. So let's enter actual words. Hello from Kevin. How are you today? So as you can see, the word wrap uh, w works as expected. I'm going to stop it right now. We're going to change some properties in code. So I need the assistant editor on the bottom. We're going to drag the text field, uh, control drag the text field to the code and create an outlet so there is a link between the text field and the storyboard and the code. And it appears I do not have the right code in my assistant editor. So now this is the, the right code. Now I can drag it and drop it in here. And I'm going to call this my text field and click connect and my outlet is created. I'm going to add a little more space here. So now my text field can be referenced in my code. I'm going to add some code here to change the properties of the text field. My text field dot I'm going to change or, or give it a placeholder uh, string. Just simply enter text, please, in my text field, and that will be the placeholder. So placeholder is uh, text that will be replaced uh, once the user clicks on the text field. I'm going to change the background color to a different color. And I'm going to use... I'm going to select the cyan color as my background color. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to change the text color. Text color will be brown. And I'm going to run it. 